Hey guys, today we talk about Tyler the Creator's sneaker collaboration with Converse, aka Double Unboxing. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the Converse Golf LaFleur Suede Low Top by Tyler the Creator and Converse. And oh man, these sneakers are dope sauce. Glad to have copped these sneakers right here, and I did a double cop in this particular case because I was feeling this tan pair, AKA the vanilla pair, and I was also feeling this yellow pair, AKA the solar yellow pair. So I was very glad to have copped these given the nice quality of the sneakers and also the quality detail that was done by Converse and Tyler. So starting from the inside of the sneaker, you'll notice the usual canvas-like faux material that's used on the insole of the sneaker. On the inner portions of the heel, you can see that it's made up of a nice quality leather. Also behind the tongue, you can see that quality leather as well. Going down to the top portion of the tongue, you can see that it has the Golf LaFleur insignia there, along with Converse written into the sneaker. Also you have the nice suede that penetrates the whole tongue as well as the whole upper of the sneaker. The portions that stand out, like I said before, are the lateral and also the medial portion of the sneaker. Where you see the Converse One Star and also encapsulating it is the Golf LaFleur insignia as well, which I really like how it's embroidered onto the sneaker and also inner portion of the midsole, which is covered in plastic or rubber material. I like that the insignia is also at the bottom of the sneaker or the outsole of the sneaker in yellow. Very, very, you know, bright underneath the sneaker that gives it a lot of detail, but not something that will shine too bright or overdo your outfit when you're rocking it on the streets. So Tyler, the creator, came out with this sneaker before previously, but I didn't really like it given that it had writing that I didn't really feel on the midsole of the sneaker. It also had that B on the back of the sneaker, which I did not like at all. And then also the stitching that you know surrounded the Converse One Star insignia was kind of tacky in my personal opinion so I'm glad they did this renovation of the sneaker and it really sticks out because it's really minimalistic in my opinion but at the same time it has a little bit of flair and shout out to Abraham Kennard for you know commenting on one of my Instagram pics in regards to flair I probably need to define what that means I really like that they use a high quality suede on the top of this sneaker. As I mentioned before, it's a hairy like suede, so it's not that ashy stuff that you see on other brands, but it's really, really nice and I really appreciate it. Another dope feature of this sneaker is that it comes with an assortment of shoelaces for the sneakers. For me, I'm probably gonna be rocking this tan like or vanilla colorway and also the white colorway that came with the sneakers because that's just me. I'm not really feeling this tangerine like orange yellowish color. But anyways, that's just me, but it might work for you guys. Outfit wise or clothing wise, I think what would go best with these sneakers, especially these yellow ones, would probably be something that's super neutral, like a black, gray, or white. Maybe brown might work with these things, but that's probably what I'm gonna be aiming for when I'm rocking these sneakers. I might actually rock them to complex con. In regards to sizing, I would suggest going a half size down with these sneakers. Converse for me personally run big. My usual size is a 12 and a half. I went with a 12 in both of these sneakers that I copped and it fits me perfectly. Pricing wise, these sneakers ran for $100 each. I got a little bit of a discount when I bought them on Shoe Palace for like minus 10 bucks. But overall, I think for the quality, this is a good bang for your buck when it comes to sneakers. Hopefully you guys will be able to cop. So Casa question of the day, people. What are your thoughts about Converse sneakers in general? Me personally, I think they're dope. I used to wear the Converse One Stars when I was younger because that's what my parents could afford for me at the time. I would play kickball in the streets with them, 
baseball, football, whatever, and they lasted me a, quite a while until I got holes on the bottom of the sneakers. So these sneakers are kind of, you know, reminiscent of those times when I was younger with my siblings. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not already, and I treated you well in this video. Also, remember to hit that notification button so you do not miss any dope sneaker content. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all on the next episode of Casa Station Deuces.